Welcome back to another console collector video. Hey everybody, console collector here. Today's video, we're going to take a look at my Nintendo DS collection. The Nintendo DS is slowly on the rise for prices, and I've had some requests to take a look at what games I have in my DS collection. So I thought, what a great time to do a collection video. Now, we're not going to talk about consoles or accessories. I do have several of those. I want to focus on just the games for this video. However, in the backdrop, we do have my DS original blue version here. My Pokemon Dialga and Palkia DS Lite, as well as a sealed Pokemon Dialga and Palkia DS Lite. My Buzz Lightyear holder charger. And then this metal locker. Yeah, what's in here? Stay tuned to the end of the video and we're going to open that up. Trust me, it's really cool. Alright, I pulled all my games out together and I didn't realize how many DS games I had. It actually kind of shocked me. I looked it up on my video game collection app and I somehow have over $4,000 in DS games. Like, what happened to, to the DS? Anyway, let's see what games I have for the original DS. Here we have 999, 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. It's a really unique puzzle, visual novel game, I guess. I never actually got to play it yet, but I heard really good things about it, so I picked it up. Animal Crossing Wild World. Love the GameCube Animal Crossing, so I had to pick that up when it came out. Bomberman. Just classic Bomberman on the go. Boogie, I actually just kept this from a lot of DS games I got one time because I'd never really seen it before. Biker Mice from Mars, I absolutely loved the Super Nintendo game and the TV show. So when I found out it was on DS, I picked it up and it's actually really decent. So if you like Biker Mice from Mars, that's worth tracking down. Brain Age 1 and 2, pretty sure everybody has these on DS. Brain Age 2 has some really great music. There are really good games, if you're into that kind of game. Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Really, really glad I picked this up before the prices got crazy on it. Same with Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Classic game for the DS. A must have for Castlevania fans. Chibi Robo Park Patrol. Not as good as the GameCube version, but still decent. Better than the 3DS Chibi Robo. Final Fantasy 3, not much you can say about that. It's Final Fantasy 3. Final Fantasy 4. Garfield's Nightmare, um, another one I just got in a DS slot and I kept. Diddy Kong Racing DS, love the N64 version, had to pick that one up. Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. This one I picked up because it looked really interesting and I'm glad I did because it's gone up in price now. Drawn to Life Collection, got this at a thrift store for a dollar one time. So I kept that, my kids like it. Electro Plankton, I actually got this years ago just because I liked the cover, yeah. Turns out this game's really expensive now so I'm glad I got it back in the day. Hotel Dusk Room 215 a graphic novel. Hell's Kitchen the game for DS. I like the show I don't like this game. Why do I keep it? I don't know. Harvest Moon DS. I like some of the Harvest Moon games. This one's pretty decent. Grand Theft Auto China Wars. It's definitely not as good as the PSP games, but it's playable. Golden Sun Dark Dawn. This is one that I've wanted to get to for a while. I've completed both GBA versions, so I really got to get on that one. I love the Golden Sun games. Ghostbusters the video game. Not as good as the console versions, but it's playable. Got that for a dollar at a garage sale, so I kept it. George of the Jungle. 
Another game that you don't see too often, I just hung on to over the years. Kung Zhu got this in a lot. It's another one that you don't really see, so I hung on to it. Kirby Mass Attack. I went on a Kirby binge a few years ago and I picked up all the Kirby DS games back then, which includes Kirby Canvas Curse. My favorite Kirby game on the DS, Kirby Superstar Ultra. This is a fantastic game. It's a bunch of Kirby mini games, just like the Super Nintendo version. Kirby Squeak Squad. Kingdom Hearts. This one, I like Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. I never got around to playing the DS version. I did play the PSP one. Wasn't really that much into it. This one, more or less, I kept for my kids. Lego Indiana Jones. They love Lego games. What kid doesn't? Mario Kart DS. Really good game. Must have for the DS. Mario Hoops 3 on 3. I love basketball games that aren't too realistic. So this game definitely falls in that category. I don't know why they haven't revisited this, but yeah, I believe this is the only Mario themed basketball game. I don't really count NBA Street Volume 3 that has Peach, Mario, and Luigi in it. Yeah, they're in, in it, but it's more realistic. This one is just classic fun Mario sports. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Beijing 2008. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. The Mario and Luigi games are fantastic on the DS. This one is my favorite Mario and Luigi game, period. Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Maybe it's because I'm biased because I like Bowser so much, but yeah, I really love this game. Lufia on DS. I completed both SNES games, so when I found out this existed, I had to pick it up. And yes, I do have the Game Boy Advance version as well. The Legendary Star Free. This is the one that I got in a lot, and I popped it in to try it out, and I actually really liked it. I'm glad that I did, because it's gone up in price. Of course, Zelda, Phantom Hourglass. And Spirit Tracks. Mario Party DS. Metroid Prime Pinball. I remember when this came out, I was like, this is so weird. Like, who wanted this? Uh, I picked it up and I'm glad I did. It's actually not bad. And I'm not a big pinball fan, so that should say a lot. Metroid Prime Hunters. I remember when this game launched with the DS and it blew my mind. I couldn't believe the graphics of this game. I thought it was as good as the GameCube version back then. It's not, but back then I thought so. Mega Man Zero Collection. I didn't want to spend the money on the Game Boy Advance version, so this was a great way to get them all on the DS. For some reason, I have two copies of Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem. I got a black case and a red case. Not sure how that happened. Namco Museum DS, just some classic Namco games on the go. Need for Speed Card and Own the City. I liked the Need for Speed Carbon game on GameCube. This one is definitely not as good, but it was decent back in the day for on the go racing. New Zealand Story Revolution. This is actually a remake of Kiwi Craze on the NES, which is one of my favorite childhood NES games. I really love this game. It's awesome. And it's pretty uncommon. I've never seen another copy besides my own. New Super Mario Bros. Classic Mario Bros. on the DS. Nintendo DS Browser. Yeah, I have that for some reason. And then Pokemon Conquest. It's like Fire Emblem meets Pokemon. It's a Pokemon strategy game. If you like strategy games, this one's actually worth a play. Pokemon Ranger. This is a Pokemon game you just don't hear anybody talk about. I really like the cover of this one. 
Prey of the Stars. This is kind of a hidden gem on the DS. I remember seeing it from a YouTuber a long time ago and picking it up for really cheap. And surprisingly, it's still cheap. Resident Evil Deadly Silence. This is a port of the original Resident Evil on PS1. It's a decent way to play it. I like that it's portable. Rhythm Heaven. I picked this game up based on hype. Everyone said it was so good. Haven't had a chance to play it, but I'm glad I own it. I'll get to it one day. Teenage Zombies. I randomly found this game and picked it up just because it had zombies in it. And I actually had a lot of fun with this game. This is a hidden gem for sure on the DS. And it's still cheap. At least last time I checked. Tornado. This game reminds me of Tornado Outbreak on the consoles. And yeah, it's it's pretty fun. You get to be your tornado and just go around and cause a bunch of damage and stuff. So definitely worth checking out. Just simple pick up and play kind of fun. Touch Mechanic. Now this game really took me by surprise. It's a great learning tool for cars. Yeah, if you have an interest in learning about cars, I highly recommend this. You know, it's not one-to-one -one realism, but my 12-year-old son played it, and he learned a lot about cars from it, and that's really impressive. If I didn't work with cars every day, this is definitely something I could enjoy more, but again, it's a great teaching tool. I highly recommend this if you want to learn about cars. Great concept for a game. Sherlock Holmes here, The Mystery of the Mummy. I don't know why I have this. I think I got it in a lot one time. I just kept it. Another visual novel style game. SimCity Creator. I love SimCity games back in the day, so pick that one up. SimCity DS. Definitely reminds me of the old PC days of playing SimCity 2000. Sims 2 Castaway. I don't know why I kept this. I don't like the Sims games. I think I should get rid of that one. The Simpsons game, not as good as the console games, but still definitely playable. A good Simpsons fix for the DS on the go. Sonic Classic Collection. I highly recommend this if you like the classic Sonics. You got Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Sonic and & Knuckles on the DS, anytime, anywhere. Great collection. Spider-Man Battle for New York. I love Spider-Man beat up game, beat em up games, and this one's pretty fun. Spyro Shadow Legacy. I picked this up at a thrift store, and it turns out it's getting pretty expensive, so glad I got that one on the cheap. Star Fox Command. Just some classic Star Fox on the DS. Lego Star Wars, The Complete Saga. Every kid loves Lego Star Wars, as do mine. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. This one I picked up in a DS lot and I just kept it. Haven't played it yet. Super Mario 64 DS, one of my favorite DS games. I don't know why this game gets so much hate because it doesn't have a little circle stick or you're forced to use the D-pad to play it. When I worked security many years ago, this game saved me from a lot of boring, very dreadful, lousy overnight shifts. I had a ton of fun with this game. I had no issues with the D-pad. I don't know why people complain, honestly. It's super fun, it's playable. And again, yeah, this game got me through a lot of crazy boring nights, so love this game. Give it a chance. Super Princess Peach. I remember when this came out, I couldn't believe Peach had her own game. That fact alone made me pick it up. It turns out the game's actually pretty decent. Tetris DS. I love Tetris. It's got little Mario themes to it and stuff. Great game of Tetris. Tom and Jerry Tales. I got this as a gift from a friend, so I kept it. I don't get, get rid of or sell or trade away gifts touch the dead i got this game and a lot of really awesome hidden gem ds games and this is one of my favorites it's so fun 
it's a zombie survival game but you touch them to shoot them and yeah i can't explain how much fun it is it's definitely one of those games you can just pick up and play for a few minutes and have a blast it does get a little bit repetitive toy story 3 it's toy story it's actually a pretty decent movie tie-in trauma center under the knife these games always intrigued me because the surgery aspect to it haven't got around to playing much of them as well as the sequel number two here warrior wario master of disguise i am a terrible ds owner i haven't played many of these wario games on ds here's wario diy do it yourself i believe that when you make your own mini games warrior where touched this is the one that i did play and i had some fun with it Wizard of Oz Beyond the Yellow Brick Road. I picked this game up off Amazon quite a while ago because it looked really interesting. I saw a YouTuber do a video on it and I thought it was really interesting. So I picked it up and it actually came sealed. Yeah. And as you can tell, years later, I still haven't played it. Now I don't want to really open it, but we'll see. Zensis Ocean. I don't know if that's how you say this. I found this game at a thrift store. I looked it up and it was cheap. And I got looking and I'm like, oh, that's a puzzle game, I'll give it a try. And this game actually took me by surprise. It's got calming music, nice backgrounds, and just a really soothing puzzle aspect. I really just was able to unwind and enjoy this game. If you like puzzle games, I recommend this big time. And then Yoshi's Island DS. It's like the Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island on Super Nintendo. Absolute great game. Minus baby Mario crying. And then here, I've just got these Tingle DS games. Yeah, I, I don't know what they're called. I can't read Japanese, but I heard they were good games. I really like the cover art of this one with the hearts. Yeah, I got all three. I believe this is like Balloon Fighter with Tingle. Yeah, pick those up. Now you might be wondering, where's all the Pokemon games? Like the mainline Pokemon games. Well, I keep them separate from normal DS games. But of course I have them. All of my Pokemon games, I've gotten new in store for retail. Let's take a look at the first ones here. Pokemon Diamond. I love Dialga, it's one of my favorite legends, and Diamond was my favorite fourth gen game. I can't believe how crazy these Pokemon games are right now, by the way. Here's Pearl. Especially Platinum. I picked this up on a whim, I'm like, uh, I don't really like it. I didn't like Emerald that much, but of course I always bought every Pokemon game, so I got Platinum. I used to see this game for $30. And now, I went to my retro video game store a couple weeks ago. This game was $240 there. $240, that's nuts. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, and then we got Pokemon Black with Reshiram. Pokemon White with Zekrom. And then, we have my third favorite Pokemon game of all time. Pokemon Black 2. All I can say is the world tournament in this game totally made me love this game. World tournament. The sole reason to own that game. And then we got White 2. And of course, Pokemon Soul Silver in the big box. And my favorite Pokemon game of all time that I bought brand new from Walmart Pokemon Heart Gold. I've taken really good care of my stuff over the years so everything is super mint now as promised at the beginning of the video i got something real special in here let's open it up little lock here this is a nintendo ds locker that's right a locker made of metal has a lock like what yeah i know 
your DS actually sits in the bottom here, along with the, the top here, you can actually put games in. Yeah, it's actually made just for DS games. A lady on Facebook Marketplace put this up for $5. And I love gimmicky, crazy things in the game room, so I had to get it. Inside, I keep my sealed games, such as Mortal Kombat Ultimate here sealed this is one of my most expensive and rarest i guess i'd say more expensive games in my gaming collection period yeah not just ds this is my most expensive ds game but this is little red riding hood zombie barbecue but it's sealed yeah i got this game a long time ago it looked like a really fun kind of shmup. Reminded me of Pocky and Rocky kind of. So I picked it up and was going to open it. Me again being a bad DS owner, I never got around to opening it. And it sat sealed for years. And now it's so expensive and valuable, I don't want to open it. This one's not sealed, but I keep it in here because it's kind of getting expensive. And it's pretty rare actually. And it's Moon. It's a first person like space exploring shooting game. It's so unique, it's so fun. I love that game. And then I can't not mention Dementium 2. It's a first person survival horror game. I absolutely love the Dementium games on the DS. They are so good. Like I used to sit in my bed, put the headphones in, play these games and get scared. Yeah, on a DS, it's crazy. One and two are just awesome. And they actually play a lot like Moon. So that's why the three of them are together. Then of course Chrono Trigger. Classic SNES game from Square on the DS. I remember back in like 2015, 2014. My friends were making fun of me because I, I paid $40 for this. Which was at the time pretty high. But I bought it anyway. And now it's crazy expensive. So I'm glad I did get it. It's complete with the map. Then I have the Club Nintendo Game & Watch Collection version 2 and version 1 here at the top, both sealed. No intentions of opening those. Got those when I cashed in some Club Nintendo points. So that's it. That's my Nintendo DS collection as of right now. Is there any DS games that you guys would recommend I get? Please let me know in the comments below. What are some of your favorite DS games? If I had to recommend anything on the DS to you guys, I would say the Dementium games are definitely worth checking out if you like horror games. And Moon is very unique as well. That's one I would recommend checking out. Alright, load these back up into the DS locker. Close her up. Thanks everybody for watching. Definitely had fun going through the Nintendo DS collection. If you want to see more collections like this please again let me know in the comments below i'd be happy to do some more all right that's going to wrap up that video on the nintendo ds get out there play some ds all right that's going to wrap up today's video you can follow me on social media the information is in the description be sure to like comment subscribe and share i'd really appreciate it I am the console collector. I want to thank everybody for watching. And until the next video, happy gaming.